Just a few precious seconds can make the difference. The speed loader gives you those seconds. During the course of this program, you'll become familiar with techniques enabling you to reload your revolver in five seconds or less. Let's begin with how to load the Safari Land speed loader with ammunition. Hold the speed loader with the chambers facing up and the knob side down. Drop the rounds in, casing down, projectile up. Now push the knob straight up as far as it will go, then turn it clockwise until it clicks into place. Your speed loader is now ready. The speed loader should always be carried in its pouch, which is usually worn on your weak side just next to the gun belt buckle. The loader rests in the pouch like this, with the bullets three front and three back. Either hand can be used to draw the speed loader from its pouch, but you'll need to master the right-handed draw. Notice the flap of the pouch is tapered at the top. This allows you to reach inside the pouch with your thumb and forefinger and grab the speed loader. Then unbuckle the front snap with your middle finger and remove the loader from the pouch. Here's the same technique from a different angle. Drawing the loader with the left hand uses the same principles and you should know how to do it. Loading the revolver quickly and smoothly requires some practice. Here are the different steps broken down. First, push forward on the cylinder release with your right thumb to open the cylinder and shift the revolver to your left hand with the two left middle fingers reaching through the frame from the side plate side. Now eject any empty casings with the left thumb and at the same time draw the speed loader from its pouch with the right hand. Holding the cylinder with your thumb so it can't rotate and making sure that the muzzle's pointing down, align the bullets with the holes and push straight in. Do not twist. The bullets will release automatically. Now drop the loader. Let's take another look. Release the cylinder. Hold the revolver in the left hand. Eject any casings while drawing the speed loader. Align bullets with holes. Push straight in. A situation may arise where you'll be forced to reload your revolver with just one hand. The technique is basically the same with variations. Let's say your right hand is injured and your revolver has fallen to the ground. Here's what you do. Open the cylinder by pressing the revolver against your leg or body and pushing the release. Eject the casings. Now slip the barrel end into your right shoe. Draw the speed loader with your left hand as we showed earlier. Push the bullets into their slots, and you're ready. If you're in a standing position, open the cylinder as before, but use your belt to hold the barrel of the revolver, draw the loader, reload, and you're ready. A third possibility would be if you are on your back. The reloading techniques are the same as if you were standing up, but you'll need to be careful to keep the barrel level. You may need to manually push some bullets the rest of the way in with your fingers. To release the ammunition from the loader, press firmly on the star-shaped release mechanism in the center between the bullets and dump them out. Check the loader periodically for cracks, particularly if it's been dropped on a hard surface. If it's been dropped with ammunition in it, check the ammo and casings for damage from the loader's locking mechanism. Always keep your speed loader clean checking for foreign materials around the release or brass colored locking mechanisms at the bottom in particular. No oiling or other lubrication is necessary. Let's take one more look at the proper operations of the speed loader. Loading the speed loader. Carrying the speed loader, three front, three back. Drawing the speed loader. And loading a revolver with the loader, step by step. And in one fluid motion. With practice, 
you'll be able to reload in less than five seconds, giving you the few moments you may need which may make the difference.